So we have a lot of stuff going on here in this table and this video is gonna be just me taking a fan motor to a different fan that actually becomes more efficient and does a better cooling. And this is just a fun project that I wanted to do for a while now. This is one of those uh, tower fans. It's the Vornado, but it's not one of those that spins around. It's one of those stationary that has this kind of twisted part and i have to come clean it is really not that good now i'm not saying it's brutal but it's not that great even on really high spin somehow the design of this one does not make sense to me not to bash vornado i've used a lot of vornado products throughout the years and they're actually top-notch company when it comes to producing stuff but on this one I don't know why they took a dive, but it is just not that efficient. And my idea is to do away with this one and, uh, well, basically do away with everything on it except for the controls and the motor. That's all I need from here. And I will put all these controls and stuff in this one here that looks nasty right now. This was on uh, AC. I will show you right here. Yep. It was this AC that I took apart. Yes, this AC was gone, you know, really gone. And I took all these parts from that AC. And this AC, of course, was older. It's quite quite a uh, hoo hoo years old. And it has this motor. But this motor, the problem with these motors, if you ever worked with uh, motors from ACs, these have a tendency to reach 130, 140, and sometimes even 150 degrees of heat. And that is absolutely horrendous because it's a closed motor. There's no way of dissipating heat. There's just impossible to get rid of heat. Now, why I like this one is that this motor is better designed, more efficient, and the heat can escape. So this motor will not reach that 2 million degrees like this one would. Now, I'm not going to toss this one away because I'm going to convert it into a generator soon. But everything on its own time. The air disbursement on here will be perfect and these are virtually in every ac or portable ac this is the top part where the uh, air comes to your room from the portable ac and the fence or this little thingy right here lives on the bottom right here so it grabs air and throws it here and this one i got it for five dollars yeah so i couldn't say no to this tower fan that was working for five dollars it's just you know if you're a guy you, you know what i'm talking about you will buy it even if you consciously know you'll never use it because it's one of those things that us guys kind of have in common a lot of times it has a motor it has a board it has buttons it has a lot of stuff for five bucks the motor alone is more than five bucks so yeah you know i would grab that so now we have all we need from that entire tower and Okay, so one thing, uh, let's hope this pin here is actually standard. Yep, it is. That's that's a good start. And the motor, in a perfect world, goes something like this. And Okay, so the holes here almost fit. Let's see what I can do about that. If these are not long enough, I have some other screws that would probably be happy to go in here. If I don't drop this on my glass table, that's perfect. Because if I drop this on a glass table, that is not a good day at all. Okay, I am uh, to this point extremely surprised that it actually fit this good. Okay, just so before I forget, I had to open the motor. Yeah, it got, it's not that complicated. And I had to take it out and just take the rotor inside and spin it the other way. So the motor goes the direction we're looking for. Because unfortunately, the way it was, it wasn't having it. So now we will uh, fill it with hopes and dreams that it works and uh, see where that takes us. Okay, so now, as I just told you, what happened here is that I took this whole motor assembly apart it is it was actually very easy that's not even a bad part just took the screws off there's three screws one two and the third was here and what i did is that the rotor inside not the stator the stator is stator the rotor simply took it out and flipped it so this 
pin here was on this side if you remember so the wires were outside now the wires are the, on the inside because now i flipped the uh, rotor and now because of that we have the rotor spinning the way we wanted because before it was spinning this way and if you spin this way you see there's no air being pulled in but i wanted it to spin this way so the air can come up and that was the best way because as you see yeah i tried to reverse polarity on the board i reverse polarity everywhere but what these have they're actually quite smart they have a uh, reverse polarity protection so if it detects a reverse polarity it will switch it back to what it was supposed to be well in this case they didn't calculate some people like us that will go inside the motor and switch the polarity on the rotor itself which is actually very easy and yeah i had arrows to guide me so i don't forget what i'm doing and i am very happy with what's going on now and now we are almost ready to put it together i just have to kind of close these two that i yeah I, I did what i thought was right and that is perfect sleeves are put in place and now we are finally talking serious to closing it okay so the whole enclosure looks good these here will be uh put together when i put the other top here but first let me plug it again and see the spinning situation and the air situation of it always make sure it is unplugged when you're handling these parts here because this believe it or not can reach up to 270 volts oh, oh, oh yeah oh yeah here it goes clean fresh air going on whoa now this is what i call a lot of air <laughs> oh yes now we are talking i don't know if you can see it but look well let me turn it off let me put this one right here it's a piece with a piece of wood inside right just to show you if it's any powerful or not that's why i wanted to do this mod it's such a big deal to me and <laughs> it stays straight by itself look at now boom it even tossed it away i am extremely happy with this build i know to most of you guys probably it's just well what are you doing you're just wasting time but in my head <laughs> this is one of those things that just gives you an immeasurable amount of pleasure to actually build something with your own hands it's to me it's a big deal i know to most of you it is absolutely nonsense okay so here we have everything we worked for and <sighs> what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it back on its original body but without the compressor or the coils or the secondary motor at all just the top just so i can use this the whole two shells and the wheels to push it around so you have almost like a moving fan i would say at this point and uh, it, it's really working good i cannot say that i don't like it now the controls i'm gonna leave as they are I'll just probably stick this one on the side somewhere on the body so we can have the uh, controls. And uh, the other uh, components are going to stay as they are right here. As you see, this is the logic board, capacitor, and the motor itself. I'll just leave them alone like that. I don't see a problem with them, so they will uh, stay here. And with that said, I'm going to start putting it back together and uh, see the end results in a few minutes. Yay! Pure happiness! We only have a few screws to go through. <laughs> so yeah, this is the wheel base. I just like these wheels, so I'm gonna reuse them. Okay, so one side is done, and uh, we have to put this thing right here. It's what's gonna hold it, like a shelf. And uh, let's see where that goes. Yay, fun! Okay, so our shelf looks really good and we have to find a way now to sneak in our connections yay okay so the controls are gonna go here on the front as you see right here and i have no idea how i'm gonna route this one but i'll find a way okay so it may not look perfect but that is definitely not something that i will lose sleep over and now we have to just cover the top and get it ready for a wedding or whatever so let's see what goes on and to put this controller on the side i'm not gonna do a great job according to the scientific community but i'm gonna put this kind of 
outer space tape and see what it does. Just to hold it there, that's all I care. Yep. Alien tape. That's actually how it's called, so I did not make this up. And that's a great way for me to know if this even holds. This alien tape stuff. I'm gonna put two little pieces just to make sure. Probably around here would be perfect. That's all I need. This stuff is thick. Huh. Looks almost like I dunked it in oil. I don't know if the camera can see that. The color shifting thing, like a hue. That is interesting. Okay, fill this off. Looks good to me for what I care. Okay, it should go probably right here would be good. Because I want to kind of clip this top a little bit. Okay, so in my book, this is good enough now as a fan. And it works. And here on the back is where the filter actually goes. Yep. Let's see how this one goes in. Boom. Perfect. Just like brand new. And now would be a great time for me to just plug it in and enjoy a free fan yes this ac was broken from the beginning so i did some other experiments with it that will not make it in youtube probably but this one was just one of them and i absolutely love it let me just plug it real quick yep oh yeah air is coming out nice and slow let me put this piece of plastic here so you can see it when it changes like this this is turned on let me increase the speed a little bit -hoo -hoo. boom gone yeah so it works and i am extremely happy that i can actually use it in a different fashion well i mean you'll have to have a broken portable ac to begin with to do this whole mod but if your portable ac is completely gone or you find one with five ten bucks oh yeah snatch that thing snatch it just make sure the fins are inside so you can have a lot of fun and by the fins i mean the fan so the cylindrical fan and yeah you got a portable fan now with filter and everything it is not an ac anymore but if you put ice on the back here so it sucks from the ice you are golden well chilly golden nah never mind not good at that well, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something and shared with somebody that may need it or get a giggle out of it. I don't know. We'll see you next time. Bye.